Welcome to learning react with me. In our previous videos, we have seen how to render the list of users using props and stick. Also, we have seen how to create a simple add user form with two elements. Each of these components had their own state. Now, I want to render these two components in a single parent component such that the user added through this form is added to the list below this form. For that, we need to establish a communication path for these two components. We need to send the data added in the form to the parent component, which in turn sends the updated data to the list component. Through props, we have seen how to communicate for, from parent to child. Now we are going to see how a child can communicate to its parent. This process is called lifting the state up. Literally, we are moving the state of child component to the component above it. Of course, each of these child components can have their own state, but we establish the single source of truth in the parent component by lifting the state up and using props as well. So let's see this in action. This is our add user component where we created a simple form with an input element called name and a checkbox to determine if the entered username is an admin or not and a button to submit the form. We have created event handlers as well and a handler to submit the form. We had a state, name and is admin and to check if the button can be enabled or disabled. We also created a user list component where we maintained a dummy list of users and sent to the uh, user component to display each individual user. So this user component accepts data through props and displays the name. Now, and this is our app component where we rendered add user. Now, below the add user form, I want to render the list as well. So let me import that component user list. So this is the path where we have our user list component. Let's see how this is looking on the screen. So this is how uh, our uh, component would look like. We have a form and a list of users. Now when I enter uh, some username and click on add user, it has to update in this list as well. So let's see how we can do that. And in order to do that, what I have to do is whatever data I capture in this component, I have to send it to the parent component which is rendering these two components and then using props I'll be sending the updated list of users to the child component which is rendering the list. So let me bring this dummy list of users to the parent component. Let me cut it here and paste it here. And I'll maintain a state. Uh, we already have a state here, so we don't need it anymore here. So let me move it up. Now we have a state called users, which is accepting dummy users as its initial value. And this dummy users should be sent to the user list. So I'll have a prop named users, and this will accept the users state. So this dummy list of users is now going to user list as props. Previously we didn't uh, send this through prop, it had its own state. So we directly used users. Now it is coming through props. So let me add a props here at the component and to accept uh, or access users use props.users. Same in the rendering part as well, props.users. Let's see if this is working. Uh, we have an error here, cannot read properties of undefined length. Okay, I forgot to save this. Let's refresh. Use state is not defined. Okay. Uh, we are using use state since this is a functional component and in order to use it, we have to import it. Let me bring the import statement as well from here. We don't need it anymore and paste it here. Now the error will be gone 
and uh, we are still rendering the list of users now I have to add this user so inside this component I have a form with a submit button when I click on the submit button it comes to this handler and here I want to send this data to the app.js let's add a method here which accepts user from add user component and updates the list so that it gets reflected in the user list so let's create a method on add user which accepts user object as an input and inside this we need an id and a name name will be coming from the add user component but we need to create an id as well so what i will do is let me create another variable and uh, create an id property uh, let it be a random number for now mat.random and the properties of user object whatever uh, the user object has already those properties will be updated here along with the id using a spread operator and we need to add this new user to this dummy users and we need to update this user's uh, state as well we already have this uh, method set user so let's make use of it and inside this i want to update or add the new user to dummy users i'll be using concat method here and add this user new user I can use push method as well but uh, it's always good to uh, create a new list of uh, data instead of modifying the existing directly uh, the original data set so I've used concat here and this uh, user state is updated using the set users method now we need to consume this method in this add user so that it can give us the updated I mean newly added user so let us send this add user method as an prop so on add user so this way the child component will have access to the method in parent component let's see how this add user component can use this method so now uh, previously we didn't had any prop so we left this blank now since it is receiving a prop let me add the prop now in this handle submit method I have to access this uh, on add user method props dot the name of the property is on add so I'll say props dot on add and I'll be sending an object which has name and admin so this way I can send these two properties to my parent component and once it receives this user object it will add an ID property to the existing uh, properties and the whole new user object will be added to the dummy users list and since the state is getting updated this complete function will re-render and whatever we have inside the return statement will be updated with the new state values so that the users list will now see the newly added user let's see if this is working or not so let me clear this and now I'll add a test user uh, let this be an admin user uh, it doesn't matter because we are not making use of admin inside this component so let me click on add and now we see a test user added so let's see if I have not added the ID property what would be the result let's remove this save it and now go to the browser or let me refresh it and I'll add uh, test add user we see the newly added user getting updated in the list but we see a error in the console saying each child in the list should have a unique key property this is because in the user list we used id property as a key value 
so that each user in the list will be uniquely identified during the updates and it would improve the processing. Now, since we don't have the ID and only name is present, it does not have a unique uh, key to identify this newly added user. And that's the reason we need to maintain a unique uh, value so that it can identify the user uniquely. And actually this has to be users uh, because every time we refresh or the component re-renders it will be taking the dummy users but we don't want that we want the actual uh, uh, state ideal uh, cases it would be coming from database so there shouldn't be any problem now let's see I'll refresh and I'll add test user 1 and now I'll add test user 2 so we see the newly added uh, users here so this is how we lift the state up in react by sending the uh, data from child component to the parent component so that we have a single source of truth which in case is this users list which is used by the two child components thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to interview pro